Hey guys, it's Sink Kim and uh, welcome to the episode 2 of Channel Review and uh, the first channel, uh, this time I am reviewing my friend George Irwin's uh, channel and uh, but first, before we get started with anything, we need to look at if you if you want, want to sort of understand like the first uh, two videos that I'll be showing you you need to know what the heck Subnautica Below Zero is. So Subnautica Below Zero is an... Is a... Is an underwater adventure game set on an alien ocean world. It is a new, new chapter in the Subnautica universe. Uh, and so if you have... You, if, if, you, if you have ever played any of the Subnautica games, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know... Well, you're about to find out, like, and, and it is currently in developed by Unknown Worlds, the gaming company. So, I will show you some images. So, this, this is like most of the stuff. It's interesting, interesting. Whoa. So this is like nothing you would see in an average Nintendo game. And since this is a Microsoft game, you would not see that. So, yeah, you're in for a lot of stuff today, people. Here we go. First video. Okay, going in. Going in. The portal. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. Whoa, what's that? So, technically, you're in this. It's some kind of underwater base, and then surrounded by, and we're surrounded by water. Oh, and if you go through here, oh, another portal leading to, oh, now we're above ground. Whoa. This game is interesting that I think that I think it, it might be, whoa. I mean, I mean, if I ever got the, got the chance to play this game, I would, heck, I would. And uh, outside, on the uh, icy water? So apparently this is what the base sort of looks like, and uh, if you actually get to play the game, well, interesting. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Okay, and back to base. Okay, so that was just a... Oh, now we're, now we're like underwater. So it's like the bases, the bases are all like different, like... Oh yeah, that, that light there, that port, that thing is over here. There's the pro portal, probably, from my from my assumptions.
this is the and then uh, this is the footage of like how you know how you would look like on a hover on a hover bike uh There we go, that's the hover bike. Looks pretty cool. Hop on and whoa, sick. And looking back at the base. Like any uh, Microsoft Microsoft game you would ever play, uh, the, the trajectory of the comp it's a completely different. Everything's 3D ish. And if you fall in the water, you have to literally crawl out yourself. Technically, if you do go, if you do go fast enough, uh, but if you don't, you'll fall in the water like, like so, and then you have to get your butt up there, uh, get your sorry self out of the water. Yeah, I mean, like you, you don't lose anything from what I've seen. You don't. You just have to find a way out of the water. Out. Yeah, and then the uh, hover bike's still out there. Yeah, so all you have to do is mount. Technically, you don't lose it or anything, I guess. Oh. I should, I should, I should, yeah, I should, I should have, really have to think uh, about like what would I if I want to. Actual hover bike, and this happened to me in real life. Yeah, so it's technically that. <laughs> oh, there's something back here.
back to back to this uh, part again. Oh, so apparently you can't really like jump high enough. You need more power. I finally managed to get it up. Nice. That is the uh, a bike. If you ever uh, get a, uh, I managed to get a uh, Subnautica below zero. This is very short. Unrelated. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> get too close, you'll go nom nom. Now this video was is sort of different. Oh, let's go full screen. I'm not so sure if that's his. Whoa! This the, the, the video's title is "Doggo Has Fit." Oh, uh, sure, how the hissy fit, all right. Oof. Oh, uh, I don't know, I'm not too sure if, uh, why George has a s fake skeleton in his room, but... That's probably for uh, other reasons. Oof. Everyone knows if you have like a dog at home and it's very, and he or she is very hyper, then uh, this will happen. Nah. Oof. Oh. <laughs> now that's something I haven't seen in a quite a long time. I remember my friend uh, at my, uh, my friend's house. Uh, yeah, there's a really a uh, hyper uh, chihuahua, I think. And uh, every time I come over to him, his house uh, like. She only threatened to attack me or something, and like they have to lock lock her up in a room before letting me near go uh not go in the house or something. So just to be safe, I guess. Whoa, but whoa. Whoa. 
and this is a footage of a, a beaver swim, swimming in. I don't know where, but... It's not every day when you see them. If you ever see like a wooden dam or something, made of sticks and stuff, yeah, they made it themselves. Yeah, the guy right there. Oh. And then this is a uh, salmon in uh, probably the Ganaraska River. I'm, get, I'm assuming because uh, he said he lives on the east east side of town and. The river flows uh, almost on the east side of town. And now, like, think I didn't mention when I was mentioning salmon, and now I think of sushi. Yeah, like these guys, they always uh, go up the river to me to you know me breed, and then. During mating season, and then they come back down the lakes, and then like the oceans, and then then they go back up again. I don't know. But like some of them don't make it because like either they get fished up by like the people, the fishing by fishers, or you know, or sometimes like. They just die of old age, I guess, you know, like, any average thing, you know, thinking about it. Anyway, that, that's uh, George Reverend's channel, uh, so, I still need to keep in touch with him, because, like, because, uh, I know, like last year, like I did say uh, that we were, uh, me and him and uh, a couple of his friends uh, are doing like a scary, like a film movie movie project. But like it was supposed to be uh, last year, but like everyone's schedule did not fit, and then and then it was, and then yeah. So we were planning and doing it this this summer, but I am not hundred percent sure about that, and uh, I don't know. I still need to contact him, so uh, I will let you guys know like when the when the movie project actually starts, and like I'll let you guys meet the crew and everything. Here's the you know. If the movie project ever uh, does happen, like it, 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 the, the film will be shown on my channel and then the other uh, channel that has the highest number of subscribers. You know, it's, uh, you can uh, go uh, follow uh, George Irwin's channel if, if, cause like, I know he hasn't been uh, posting, hasn't been uh, uploading uh, much uh, lately, but. You want you want all in, and uh, and show show support some support and like you can you can go subscribe to his channel right here and his uh I put his link down in the links below, like I did with the other channels. Yeah, sorry this is <laughs> this video is like very uh, short, shorter than the first one because like the first one uh first ep episode uh. That was the combining the Spl Smash Your Pass episodes plus uh, Bad Wilson's uh, gaming channel plus his blogging channel and yeah that was a you know, it was a lot of stuff to cover so like that I I, I understand there was a lot a lot of lot of footage footage to watch because of like an hour twenty or one in, in total length actually and this one is can is less than thirty minutes and I got gotcha. you. But stay tuned if uh, because uh, 
that we may be doing the project this year, the movie project, and we guarantee it's going to be a fun, a interesting, a very interesting thing to watch. We'll be we'll be having footage from the team, China, the Trinity College School. T no, that's TCS. And also footage from nearby the Ganaraska River. And yeah. Anyways, subscribe to Georgia's channel. I put, put the links down below. And the next uh, next next person I'll be doing a video on is drum roll please. Ah, good old Benny B hundred. So I am I have worked with him uh, since uh, from since many years ago, and uh, as you can see in the first in this video, and uh, I've worked with uh, Ben Drosha. He's a really, really decent guy, and yeah. And uh, I have done like at least four interviews with them, like two of like uh, for his channel, his channel, and one was in, one was like partially partially on my channel, and then one, then and then the one after that was uh, in one video, in the fourth video, which was actually part of another video that he did, and and it was technically merged, but I'll explain that in the next episode. So. Anyways, anyways, subscribe. And I'll I'll put the the cards for uh, Benny D hundred channel and uh, Georgia channel somewhere wherever it pops up. And thank you for watching. And. In the next episode, will only come be like coming out like sometime at this this week as because uh, now uh, exam season is done, so I'm free for, I'm free as a bird <laughs> until September because uh, I'm returning and yeah, got still stuff stuff to do. But yeah, episode two done. Thanks for watching and uh, and the videos are on all the channel review videos are, are, are available under well well it's multimedia project project twenty nineteen or or the olive tree productions playlist depends on what channel you're watching this on but there should be always be well it's multimedia project twenty nineteen. Or and or olive tree productions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.